PAs are regulated in Manitoba. So what hmm. does regulation mean? Well, as you graduate as a PA and you find a position, you're supposed to get uh, licensed by the uh, College of Physicians and Surgeons of Manitoba. So with that, that requires a contract between uh, the college that states who your supervising physicians are as well as kind of the roles that you're expected to do and, uh, and your signature as well. And how are positions funded in Manitoba? So our positions currently are funded through the province. So um, right now there's different regional authorities and we're kind of going through this change as well. Uh, but right now everything I've seen so far has been funded through the uh, province. Are PAs unionized in Manitoba? Yes. So that's one thing that's new within the last, I would say, three, four years. Uh, so the union, which is a great for us, uh, there's a lot of contract building with all the different regional authorities and allows uh, good communication for pay for, for uh, your length of time working as well as call, because a lot of us do call shifts there. Are there any restrictions on PA practice, like anything that, that you can't do but maybe a resident or physician can? Um, currently, the one I can't think of anything that is limited at us. As long as the physician is able to do a certain procedure and teach us, then we're able to do it. Uh, there are certain chemotherapies that we're not allowed to to sign, um, but then they would just co-sign it for us. But aside from that, we have pretty much um, able to manage our patients in the hospital. Okay. And does that include um, prescription and medications, including things like narcotics or controlled substances? Yeah. So as an inpatient, we're able to prescribe opioids and um, benzos as need be. Uh, and in the outpatient world, you need a triple kit form for opioids, and that usually the physician has. So we usually just fill that out, and then they would co-sign that. And how do, you, how do PAs interact with physicians? Mm -hmm. So for us, we have a very um, trusting relationship, especially uh, us being on the ward more often than the physician. Uh, we work as a team base, so a lot of the time when we're there, we are the ones that see the patient. We, we've already managed a lot of the, the things that need to be done that day, so it's a lot of communication with the physician and trust. Okay, so um, how do you interact as a PA with nurses or other allied health? Sure. So um, our ward is very fortunate that we work in a very big team and we're all uh, get along very well. So uh, with nurses, because I do call a lot, I have to trust them as well, same relationship as with the physicians. Since I'm sometimes doing home call, it's nice to know and trust the, the nurse at, as how the patient's doing and whether or not I need to come to assess the patient. Uh, in terms of the um, other highlight health, we work very um, closely, especially with social worker, because they uh, manage a lot of their finances and, and work because it is such a big change from being at home to being admitted to the hospital, as well as physio and occupational therapy when uh, discharge planning comes closer. If there was uh, a hospital or a department or a physician that's interested in working with the PA, um, what can they expect or what advice would you give them? The more you put into a PA, the more you teach them, the more you guide them, the more that the PA can give back. I find that if you lead them, then they'll be able to gain their own confidence and be able to trust you. So it's a, it's a very, I find, um, it's the relationship that builds the PA. Well, first figuring out what works for the PA in terms of learning, because some PAs like uh, getting homework or some like one-on-one -on -one teaching. Um, for me, I was lucky enough for my first uh, physician working in Steinbach, he was giving me one-on-one -on -one time with the different cases that we'd see and review it. And that gave me the confidence to go for the next uh, case I would see to do the same thing. So um, I think when some a PA, a new grad, comes out, it's best to start off with that close contact and close uh, uh, lecture type style of learning and then just to continue to build that trust by giving them more uh, autonomy and um, uh, that communication starts to go two ways instead of just one. A 
being a physician assistant is one of the best things that I've ever done. Uh, I feel like it is a great profession if you want to work in medicine, but also be able to work closely with patients, see patients, have time to see patients, and as well as have a good quality of life outside of the, outside of work.